Subscribe now and click on the bell icon to never miss learning from the bounty. Okay, try this question, everybody. The next question here. Thank you for answering, Abhiraj. Thank you. Yeah, let's see what others get. Okay, okay. Atri is giving the answer. Arvind Thakur has given answer. Sai Kumar, Abhiraj. Let's see. Let's see what others get. Okay, let's do this question together now. What is magnetization? If you remember, magnetization is the magnetic dipole moment per unit volume, right? Magnetic dipole moment is given as one amperes per square meter. That is an SI unit, good job, right? Divided by the volume, right? Volume is length, which is five times 10 to the power minus two. It's in centimeters, right? Multiplied by area, two times 10 to the power minus six or minus four, right? I was adding it behind the scenes and saying six, so 10 to the power minus four. Now this gives you 10 to the power six over 10, which is 10 to the power 5. And that is the amount of magnetization in there. I'm not sure why Why no, any students didn't get it right. M. Ashik Rhythm, have you understood this? Uh, Abhiraj, have you understood? Any doubts, any questions in this? Right, it's, the, it's the magnetization, magnetic moment, which is given to you, divide that by volume, per unit volume. Okay, 10 to the power 5, that's the answer there. Oh, you got units wrong, Abhiraj. Okay, that's fine. Be careful with that. Numericals on permeability and relative permeability. Again, let's recap. Permeability is the amount of, it's more like the ease with which magnetic field can penetrate, right? And relative permeability is the permeability of material divided by permeability of free space, right? Kind of like specific gravity. You're comparing with the vacuum here or, or air here. Now, this is again a recap over and over so that you, you get the things right. Uh, mu is mu naught one by, everybody has understood this expression? Right, because mu r is one by xi, right? That's why. That's mu is mu naught times one plus i. One plus i is mu r. And this thing we did many times today. This is from the definition itself. This is also just go through them one more time. The more you look at them, the more you you will get familiar with them. Yeah, please try this question. Find the permeability of any iron at saturation. Susceptibility is given to you. Um, you have to find the permeability, not the relative permeability. Sai Kumar, you're going in the right direction. You have found the relative permeability. You have to find the permeability. Okay. 
anybody who don't don't multiply and finally give the answer you can leave it as in terms of 4 pi and all that and that's fine Okay, Let, let's do this together then. Permeability of iron would be relative permeability of iron multiplied by mu naught, right? Relative permeability in terms of susceptibility, they have not given mu r, they have given susceptibility. Right, so one plus susceptibility into mu naught. Right, so that's all you do. Like, like Sai Kumar, you're doing that, but then you're not completing it. This is your final answer. You got to multiply with the, the permeability of free space. Any doubts, any questions on this? Okay, let's do the next question here. Anybody, can you listen? I mean, nobody's responding for a long time now. Linus, Joy, Grishma, Shreya, Trisha, Shivangi, Ninad, are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, okay, you're working on it, right? So, yeah. Okay. No, 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 Arjun, it cannot be zero. How, what is coming out to be zero? Nothing is zero here. Okay, thank you for answering, uh, Sai Kumar. Okay, let, let's do this together, please. So how are these things related? We know this is going to be, does everybody understand this? Everybody understands this, right? So you can plug in 1.3 here, divided by 900, this is your mu. You calculated mu just now. Once you find mu, you can use the relation mu r is equal to mu divided by mu naught, right? So you will plug in this value that you found here into here, and this is going to be four pi into 10 to power minus seven. That is mu r, right? Now you have to find susceptibility. So susceptibility plus one is mu r, right? So that means susceptibility is mu r minus one. And then you already have found mu r just now. So you plug that in here, right? I'll show you the printed version here. Okay, let's, let's see. Mu is not zero. It's it's a very tiny value, but it's still not zero, right? Even mu naught is a tiny number, right? Four pi into ten to the power minus seven, right? It's it's not zero. It's a small number. 
So once you found mu, you find mu r now. Right, by dividing with 4 pi and then you're getting a huge number now mu r is 1 1 1 4 and then you subtract 1 you get xi that's all do you, do you get it everybody gets it right yeah Grishma Arvind Thakur anybody who has not understood please tell me now if you have not understood okay, Linus Joyce is understood okay Okay, Grishma has got it. Okay, so Abhiraj got it. So now let's do some MCQs and in here we'll, we'll have poles also because there are choices in here. Magnetization and magnetic intensity. Very easy question to start with, please. Don't get this one wrong. Don't get this one wrong, please, please. So Abhinaya is home, back home. Atri Patel, you're right. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Grishma is giving the same answer, right? Aryan Malik is right. Okay. Sai Kumar is right. Okay. Uh, no, Abhinaya, please do it one more time. You're, you're doing ulta, like opposite. You're close, but ulta. Ninad, you're doing the same mistake. You're getting the formula ulta, reverse. Let's see how many get it right. Yeah, Vinay, you're right now, yes. Now this is the easiest question, I would say. Just plug in the value to the tiny. Okay, this is what I get. Most of the students said C, and C is the right answer. Let's see, it's very easy, right? So B is equal to mu H, right? So now, now B is given as 0 0.6 is equal to mu times 360. Mu is 0 0.6 over 360. That turn, turns out to be 1 by 600. That's fine, you know, yeah. You're saying it is written as B. That's a typing error, no? So you can, you obviously, it's D, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so type has made a mistake. So, yeah, you know, your answer was right. It's C, anyways, right? So let's let's proceed from here. Unless anybody has a confusion, I'm, I'm going to move on. Um, so this is how you solve it formally, like all the steps in here. Now again, easy question. Yes, Ninard, what is the answer here? Uh, RN, yes, that's right. A3, that's right. Rhythm, that is right, okay. Good job. Uh, Grishma, do it one more time. Tiny mistake with calculations there. It's 2000 here. It's not 2, it's 2000. Yes, Sai Kumar. Grishma, you're right now. Yeah. Monisha, you're right. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, these are easy questions. Yeah, easy questions, really. Uh, 
okay so c is the right answer uh, so what is absolute permeability absolute permeability is relative permeability multiplied by the the vacuum permeability right so 2000 multiplied by 4 pi times 10 to the power minus 7 right so that gives you 8000 pi times 10 to the power minus 7 and that gives you 8 pi times 10 to the power minus 4 because those three zeros can compensate for those negative powers there okay so the correct answer is c yeah am ashik you were right okay anybody who did not understand let me know otherwise we are moving on This one is another easy question actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of you are right. I mean, I cannot even take names now. Everybody is, yeah, you're right. Everybody is right who has given, except couple of wrong answers there yeah, with a tiny calculation mistake, I can see. Yeah, Arunia, you're right. Yeah, I'm Ashik, you're right, okay. Okay, some students made, I don't know how you would get that option. I'm surprised by this option. Right, so so D is the right answer. I don't know how you would get C. Where is this 6 coming from? I'm really curious because the question says 5. So how would you get 6 here? Right, so let's see how to do that. So intensity of magnetization is the amount of dipole moment per unit volume. So 5 times 10 to the power minus 12 given divided by volume. Volume is 10 to power minus 6 cubed. Right, that's 10 to the power minus 18 and that goes up becomes 10 to the power 18. So overall this is what you will get. Option D. Clear? Anybody who did not understand, please tell me. If you have not understood, tell me please. Okay, any doubts so far? Now we are doing another round of MCQ based on Curie law and magnetization and all that. Okay, so now easy questions. These are really easy questions. Yes, so most of the students are getting right. Some students, I don't know, still are not getting this point. You define susceptibility, Zai. You're given mu R. Yeah, yeah, Ninad, you're right. 
please answer here. Yeah, most of the answers are right. Some some students are confused here, that's all. You know what formula to use, you're not using it properly. Okay, so I have no idea how you would get D. Right, A and B I can understand, there's a confusion. Answer is B by the way. So, so you're given mu r. Why are you adding one? Mu r is equal to 1 plus xi. This is 4000 is equal to 1 plus xi. So xi is 3999. Is that clear? Is that clear? Can I, can I move on? Is, is this clear to you? Everybody, I mean, when I say you, it means everybody in the class. All students here. Okay. This is how you do, 4000 minus 1. Yeah, this one is easy question actually. Seriously easy question. It has to be done very fast. Abhiraj, tiny calculation mistake there. You're on the right track making tiny calculation mistake. Uh, no, so far, yeah, Arvind, you're right. Yeah, Abhiraj, you're right. Ninard, no, no, no. Again, calculation mistake. I can see Ninard. There is a calculation mistake. You're not subtracting properly. Yes, Aryan Malik. Okay, most of the answers are right, but but some answers are still wrong. Yes, Grishma, you're right. So here is what I get. Option C is the right option here. Uh, this one is easy, right? We already did this. Susceptibility 2 by susceptibility 1. Uh, no, no. So somebody is saying, I really want these questions in J. You should actually expect difficult question and hope for difficult questions. Because if everybody is getting simple questions, then everybody is getting 100% there, right? You should prepare well for difficult questions and hope that you are getting difficult questions. Okay, so xi2 is half of 1, right? Is T1, how much is T1? It's Celsius, that's not the value that you would use. You would use 127 plus 273, that is 400 degree Kelvin, or not degree Kelvin, Kelvin, right? divided by temperature 2. So temperature 2 is equal to 800 Kelvin, which actually is 527. Many students said B and D. You're subtracting it wrong. Right? You're, you're, you're doing the wrong subtraction there. That, that's it. Okay, now this one is very, very easy. I mean, you, know, you don't want these questions in exam for sure. Because then where do you get the edge? You don't have any edge compared to other students. 
who have not prepared well. That's what I meant by other students. Yeah, this one, everybody is jumping in. Okay. Now you are with me. Okay, that's good. No such question should be asked. Yeah, these questions are for practice to get familiar with the concept here. Yeah, everybody is saying the same answer. So I'm not telling you what who has given the right answer, but most everybody I think has given the right answer here. Um, I don't know why you would choose that option. I'm really sorry. I was expecting 100% right here. No, I'm, I'm really surprised. I mean, after doing so many questions, you're still not giving me this answer. So then, then I'm sorry. This is what I get. Option B. I was actually expecting 100%. This is not 100%. This is less than 100%. So we have already done, right? In the, in the previous slide itself, we did 1 by T. We already did this in the previous slide, the very previous slide. So let's talk of an electron and, and we did this yesterday. So I'm going to revise this one more time. Let's say there is, there is a loop here. Now let's say the current is I and say area is this A, right? So the equivalent of magnetic moment here was I times A. And we extended this further to the case of electron going around in an orbit. So when electron goes around in the orbit, the, the magnetic moment is going to be the current. Current is charge per unit time, but time is distance per unit per velocity, right? Divided by velocity multiplied by area, which is pi r square. Pi pi gets canceled, one r gets canceled. So in the case of electron, it is E V r by two. Anybody who did not understand this, E V r by two. Right, and then, then you can take it to, if you're given the frequency, you can say if velocity is based on frequency, what is velocity, right, and so forth. So 2 pi r times frequency is the velocity. You can plug in values given here. Anybody who did not understand this, we are going to do questions based on this now. Yeah, this is this is a little different kind of question, maybe, I, or maybe not different kind of. It's it's easy to be honest. Yeah, everybody, I'm not taking the names because so many students are giving the answer here, Abhinia. So Abhinia has given the answer, Amashik has given, Linus Joy, Ninard Sodi, uh, all of you are giving the right answers here. Um, let's see who else comes up. Ninard has given the right answer. Anybody else? Sai Kumar, you're absolutely right, yes. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Ninard has actually a very good observation there. Ninard says all the previous questions had the same option as the right answer. I didn't even notice. Yeah, that's a good observation. So Monisha, your answer is right. Let, let's feel good here. This is, was easy question. Very, very easy question. Never expect these questions in exam. They are too easy to solve. Right answer is B. People who did C made a tiny mistake there, but then I don't know how it will be D. That part I'm not sure. So magnetic moment of the electron is E V R by two. Now in terms of frequency, you see what is frequency? Number of rotations per unit, right? Per second. In one second, you're making F rotations. 
But if you're making f rotations, aren't you saying you're making f times 2 pi r distance every second? So this can also be written as e times 2 pi r times the frequency times r by 2. Right? So magnetic moment is directly proportional to frequency. If you double the frequency, the, the magnetic moment becomes double of what it was earlier. It's going double the current is flowing. Think about double the frequencies. Electron is traveling double the speed. Double the charge is going through it per second. Current is double. Okay, this is just a, a printed version of that. Maybe we'll have to end the class early. I was not expecting we'll go this fast. I have not prepared more slides here. But that's fine. We covered it. And we'll, we'll discuss anything else that is required. OK. Now, this is something that comes from a chemistry class also, the principal quantum number. So Mr. Bohr, Planck's constant. I'm just giving some, some pointers there. Bohr, then, then Planck's constant comes in here. Right, so yeah. Abhinya, yeah, thanks for answering. Let's see what the answer is. Uh, I'm going to give maybe two minutes for you to think about because there, there are multiple concepts that you have to use here. It's, it's not a straightforward thingy. Right. Abhiraj has also answered this. Sai Kumar has answered. Thank you for that. Monisha has answered this. Thank you, Monisha. Yeah, so as I said, you, you mix a couple of things in here. different answers coming in here. So let's first figure out what the answer is and then we'll see the responses here, right? So magnetic moment, remember magnetic moment by the, the angular momentum was equal to E by 2M. Does everybody understand this? We did this yesterday, right? Gyro magnetic ratio. But that gives me is equal to E by 2M times angular momentum, but then you remember angular momentum of an electron. So let's actually go here. And that actually comes from Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, uh, which we will not cover if time permits, we will cover. So electron moves around in orbit, right? So Mr. Bohr proposed, right? Thomson model failed, right? All the models failed and then Bohr said, uh, the electron cannot be in any orbit. Electron has to be in such an orbit that the angular momentum is an integer multiple of reduced Planck constant. Right? Reduced Planck constant is h by 2 pi. This can also be written as n times h bar, where h bar denotes the reduced Planck's constant. I, I don't know how many of you understand this from your chemistry classes, but we will study this when we study uh, the, the at atom chapter here. Right. Yeah, we will study the atom chapter later during in the physics course here. But in chemistry, you might have already studied this. So he proposed this and and with no no uh, no explanation for that. This is a postulate. I'm, I'm proposing this. I'm not giving any reason for this. I'm not giving any uh, explanation for this. No proof of this. I'm not giving this. You take this. You believe me, then you take this. You don't believe me, don't take this. That, that's the kind of uh, postulates you propose, right? It's like Einstein proposes a special theory of relativity with two postulates. You believe those postulates, read further, otherwise don't even read them, right? So he could not give any explanation for this. I'm just giving an extra information to you because we have time here. But later, I mean, these things are interesting to know if you're studying physics, right? So Bohr is giving all this, but with no explanation. So after one decade almost, Heisenberg comes up with his uncertainty principle. I don't know how many of you have read uncertainty principle. So there is an uncertainty involved in momentum and getting the, the correct location of anything. 
Now, when he proposes this as a side thingy of that, you can actually see you can prove this. You can prove this using Heisenberg's uncertainty principle because you'll be taking this as a wave now. So nothing that you're you're losing. If you're not understanding this, you're not losing anything. But if you're understanding, this is good to know. Okay. So now we will take this back here and say, okay, e by two m is uh, n times um, n times of the reduced Planck's constant. Right. So isn't the the answer d here? And and nobody has given me this answer. I don't know why. Has everybody understood now? Forget you gave the right answer, wrong answer, but have you understood this? That that's more important. Right, so that's why I was saying you have to mix a few things, few concepts here. You actually mix in the 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 quantum number in there. That is n. Okay. Now, this one is too easy to even go wrong with. Yes, Aviraj, you're right. Yes, Rhythm, you're right. Uh, Sai Kumar, you're right. Anybody else? This one is easy question. It qualifies as easy question. Atri Patel, you're right. Yes. Grishma, you're right. Monisha, you're right. Thank you, everybody, for giving the right answer to the last question here. So far, 100%. So far, 100%. Still 100% right answers. Still 100% right answers. Now the wrong answers are coming in. Okay, I'm going to close the poll. Please do this fast. And 90% students gave the right answer now. So let's see how to do this. This is too easy. I mean, how can you go wrong with this? Relative permeability is the permeability divided by the permeability of free space. That's the definition of it. So 3 pi times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 4 pi times 10 to the power minus 7. Pi pi cancels. 3 by 4 is 0.75 times 10 to the power minus 4 and then then oh plus 4 sorry and then you can borrow one of the 10 powers there to give this 7.5 times 10 to the power 3 that is option number p clear everybody clear with this now if you gave the wrong answer fine but have you understood this now yeah grishma your answer was right have you understood everybody Thank you message here or good night message here. So what does it say? Yeah, great things never come from comfort zones. And that is so true, right? So you really have to burn yourself and then, then, then get the success over there. Okay, so thank you everybody. Bye-bye. Uh, good night.